With dashboards, users can create statistical charts and customize labels that instantly relate to registered data. Here are some examples of dashboards for different sports. Dashboards are usually created when working on a template, but they can also be created during registering and in the timeline if needed. When creating templates, open the dashboard tool with this button. Select Create Dashboard and a new window will open so you can start designing your dashboard. You can set a name and background colour for the dashboard, add a background picture or delete it with these buttons. Also, you can export the dashboard as an independent file to share with other Naxport users. You can fill your dashboard with lots of different elements. This initial window shows the different parts which can be added and you can use this to add items when you first open a dashboard. You can create a new chart to put into the dashboard, add a chart you've previously created into the dashboard and add a data label. These first three options work with the categories, descriptors and groups from your template and analysis to present you with useful data. You can also add in a custom text label, a time label which shows you the video time at any moment and also an independent picture. This initial window also gives you a reminder that you can move items by holding control then clicking and dragging and resize items by holding alt and clicking and dragging. Please note that if you are editing a template when in the registering environment, you have to hold shift then control before clicking and dragging an item to move it. These options are usually added in by using the top bar on the dashboard. You can show or hide the grid by ticking or unticking this box. This works in the same way as a grid when you create your template, so you can lock your items into line. The X button will hide the dashboard toolbar and you can click this icon with two arrows to show it again. You have multiple options to use for designing your charts. Let's make a bar chart showing the building ups from both teams. Select the new chart icon and the creation window will open. On the right you will see your categories, descriptors and groups. In the top middle of the window you can edit different colour elements for your new chart. On the left you have lots of different tick boxes to customise your chart. The chart icons let you choose whether to use bar charts, pie charts, half pies, a donut chart or a line chart. Use the tick boxes on the right to choose which data you want to see. Here we selected two building up categories and you can see a preview of those in the chart. The name box on the left lets you show a title for the chart but is also useful for when you want to add previously created charts into a dashboard. You can change the colour of series in the chart by selecting them then choosing a colour. Showing labels for your data is useful and you can use the drop down menus to choose whether to show values and names along with deciding where those labels display in each series. There are more tick boxes to use to display your charts as you want to. Once you are happy, save the chart to add it into the dashboard. With the Alt key pressed you can resize the chart. With the Control key pressed you can move the chart. Now let's add a label. In this case we will add a text label. There are three types of labels you can use. Data labels, text labels and time labels. You can add them using the icons in the dashboard toolbar and when you right click on the dashboard or an existing item you see a menu that gives you more adding and editing tools. Select the type of label to add and you get different options to customise them. Use the save icon to add a data label into a dashboard or click the X to add a text or time label. Remember to resize with the Alt key pressed and move with the Control key pressed. Finally, we will add in two pictures, an independent one and a background picture. Once you've added a background picture into the template, you get to see the benefit of making your charts and labels transparent. A dashboard has a standard size, but you can resize the window if you want to. We have completed the dashboard by adding other charts, labels and pictures. This dashboard includes a background picture, 
an independent picture, a text label with the name of the stadium, a time label with the time of the match video, two data labels with scores for both teams, a bar chart with the building ups from both sides, a pie chart with goal kicks, and another line chart with the throw-ins that happen every minute. We'll start registering and can open the dashboard tool by pressing the icon in the register control. In this menu you can import a dashboard file that has been shared to you, create a new dashboard and also export your selected dashboard. Open one of your dashboards by selecting it from the list. Let's start registering and see how the dashboard is updated in real time. During registering or in the timeline, you can do more to work with your dashboards. In the timeline, you can open up the dashboard tool and select a dashboard to view. When you click on any label or part of a chart, the corresponding registers will open in a window for you to view them. You can use this button to send clips straight to a presentation window. You can review your dashboards based on time periods with a dynamic dashboard tool. Press the brackets icon, then adjust the time periods with the arrows and press refresh. You will then see the dashboard results for that period. In Naxport Elite, you can save these time periods with the plus icon to make reviewing different segments faster and easier.